Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, where patrons get access to a patron-only Discord, ad-free videos, and the joy of knowing they help support this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today I have an ink to show you, which is one that I was involved in in the development of. This is an ink that uh, I will be selling on my website, and I've, I've sold it before. Actually, I had this last year, almost exactly a year ago. This is Pannonia and Ink Dependence Barahe. Now, I never made a video for this. Um, I don't think I made one for Cheerio Water Bus either, because, I don't know, something feels weird to me about making a video about an ink that I was involved in making, uh, and so uh, I do really want to show it to folks, though, so that's what we're going to do today. So this is an ink that I was involved with, Pannonia X uh, Ink Dependence Barahe, uh, inside that box is this bottle, which is a 60 mil bottle. And as you can see, it is a kind of a medium violety purple. It's uh, it's a really pretty color and um, it's got a little bit of a story behind it. We'll talk about that when we're looking at the writing sample. You can see here on this bottle, 60 mils, my logo. Uh, this is uh, the Pannonia information here inside this bottle, which is kind of like a big thick glass, like apothecary style bottle. You can see how thick that bottle is. You have this really great cap. I've never had a bottle of this uh, leak or anything in transit so i think it'll be pretty good and uh, the seal on these caps is fantastic there's a little ceiling ring down here as well so just uh really good materials here well done uh, i also have in addition to that a little bottle of shimmer that you can get along with it because i think this ink should like have a little bit of extra bling to it and this beautiful azure keek uh shimmer here uh will uh really Zazz up the ink for you if the if shimmer is your thing. So uh, this will be available as well on the website. So let me put this stuff back in here. All right, here it is on the usual Nebula Casual Note paper that I've been using. I've got a couple of different swatches here, one without shimmer and then one with. As you can see here, the bottom one, a bunch of blue shimmer. Now I did load the shimmer in there pretty heavy on the side of this. It says. Uh, add uh, two to five drops of shimmer to five mils of Pannonia ink. I probably added eight drops to like, uh, I don't know, maybe three or like four mils or something. I went hard on that. So I wanted to have a bunch of shimmer in there and just kind of like push it and see how, uh, see if I could like clog a pen with it. I haven't really had it clog, although uh, I have had it like come a little bit close. We'll talk about that here in just a sec, but it's not going to like hurt your pen or whatever. It just might, you know, have to get the clog unclogged. It's not a big deal. So that'll be available as well. So if you don't like shimmers in your ink, you'll find this has a very nice kind of subtle green sheen to it. Uh, as you can see right there, it's not a ton of sheen. I wanted the purple to come through. Uh, you can see a lot of this is actually written with that shimmery one. Because I really like it with the shimmer. I think it's a really nice addition to it. It's not super in your face when there's not like a lot of light hitting it. But uh, when you uh, when you tilt it over, you can get a lot of shimmer out of that ink and it is real pretty. So uh, here I say the flow is medium. The performance, as we'll see when we look at the other papers, is pretty good on the copy paper. This is that bottom tier copy paper. And it does have some spread and a little bit of minor bleeding, but actually not that bad. I'm pretty impressed with that. Qualities, mild shading and mild sheen. So with the right paper and nib combo, you can see some shading, you can see some sheen, all that jazz. So here in the comment section, I tell a little bit of the story of Brahe. Uh, Brahe means I purple you, and it is a word that is also kind of a phrase, I suppose, but it's a combination of the words for violet and for I love you in Korean. It was coined by a V of this group, BTS, that you may have heard of. Uh, Audrey and I I are big fans of BTS and have been for quite a while and their signature color is purple and so for uh, V he said look I'm going to combine these two words and it means something kind of like I'll love you until the end or I'll care about you until the end because purple is the end of the rainbow and that's sort of like the end of it right so uh, that's what brahe means and usually goes with the Korean finger hearts so uh, yeah that's uh, kind of a meaningful thing for us as BTS fans and also I was notoriously if you've been watching these videos for a while a purple hater I would not use I didn't like purple I wouldn't really use it in pens I'd review it sometimes I'd never was like I don't like this but I kind of like it so uh Pannonia actually is the company that turned made me turn the corner on purple uh, in combination with uh the time we were becoming fans of BTS and so um they did an exclusive ink for uh, a company called cult pens that I, I called Ervechka that I really like and I was like all right uh Mate let's make uh let's make a purple ink because I know you do a purple ink amazingly I'd like to make something that's a little different from everything else a little bit of sheen if we can do it. He's like, I don't know if we can, but we found a purple that would do a sheen. And so, uh, yeah, we've got, um, 
or found a combination of things that would make a purple with a sheen in it. And so we ended up with Barahe. And I wanted to have a little bit of sheen because I like a little bit of sheen when you want it there, a little bit of shebang. But I also wanted to give people the option to have shimmer or not because not everybody wants to mess with shimmer. So we have available for you a really cool uh, ink. And also you can add as much or as little shimmer to it as you'd like or zero. You can just like not get that additive to it. So there you go. That's the story of uh, Barahe and, uh, and ink dependence and me. So I think it's beautiful purple but of course i'm a little biased you'll judge for yourself we're going to do a little water test here as usual uh, i'll show it to you on a couple of different papers we'll take a look at some colors that are like kind of close um and a couple of them that i just actually just swatched today that i think are like one of them's a little bit close so um we'll take a look at uh at those uh so here you go hang on a little bit of water on here you know, I actually haven't done a water test on this ink before. I've been using it for like over a year and I've never really done a water test on it. Water resistance is not the sort of uh, like the the end of the story for me with inks. I don't think there's really going to be much here. You don't get a lot of water resistance with purples uh, sometimes. Although you should be aware that sometimes purple inks, along with things like magentas and stuff like that, can uh, like have the possibility to stain demonstrators and such. So uh, I would say be careful when you put purples in things, including Barahe, although I haven't had a problem with that, but you never know. Uh, and also here it's, uh, I've got, it says uh, 60 ml bottles for 20 bucks each. It was a little bit less expensive the first time around. And that's because I underpriced it. Uh, and that was maybe not a bad idea. And the tax time is going to hit me, but uh, also prices have gone up a little bit. And so I'm um, uh, bumping the price up to what everybody else is charging for these custom brahes or these custom Pannonias. So uh, sorry about that, but um, it's kind of the thing that has to be done. All right. So here's the water resistance and uh, not a lot left. Like it really came up on this paper towel. I'll Though I will say uh, you can totally see the blue under there. There's like got to be some blue component that's really sticking around because you can read water test and you can see the dots. So I think if I poured my coffee on this, I would be able to make out my work, but it is in no way uh, water resistant. So uh, don't uh, don't don't let this out in the rain because it wouldn't be great. Also, maybe don't like address in a letter with it. But uh, for writing, still a lot of fun. All right, so here it is on my 20 pound, 30% recycled copy paper. This is Staples paper. And uh, this is kind of the bottom tier uh, paper that you would find in your office copier. That's why I got a bunch of this stuff. And you can see there is some spread on here. I've got it in two pens. One of them is a, uh, a Pilot Explorer, or as a, this model is called the Elitive. And that has a medium nib, one of their steel nibs in there. And uh, I think this nib is actually a little bit wetter than this one, which is kind of interesting to me. But uh, it's a little bit wetter. And you can see there's a little bit of spread from that one a little bit of feather that kind of stuff but that's expected on this bad paper it's not meant for fountain pens the second one is from a twisby swipe which also has a medium nib but it's actually as you can see there a very different kind of medium nib like they just feel very different you can see this is the one that has a bunch of uh, a bunch of shimmer in there i really packed the shimmer in there and you can see in a few places like uh, here, it started to get a little bit light at copy. And then when I did the downstroke for the Y, I was like, oh, yeah, let's go. And it like gave me more uh, more ink from then on. So um, I put in like mm, two or three times as much shimmer as one ought to for this. And so like that's kind of on me uh, in my more reasonable uh, fills. I've like I had like a vanishing point for a long time with shimmer and it was no issue at all. So, you know, you can overload the shimmer, but also this never stopped. It just kind of got a little bit a little bit persimmonous uh, persimmonous. I don't know. It was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit, um, uh, it didn't want to give me ink. I don't know what the word for it is. I'm losing words today, but it didn't want to give me ink right here. Uh, kind of like broke that, 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 uh, shimmer loose, but I never, didn't ever actually have it stops. So that's kind of cool. On the back of here, you'll see there is a little bit of, uh, of bleed through here, but only a couple of spots here. So here on the Y and here on what is that? Just it's, oh, the top of the S there. Uh, I got a little bit of a, a bloop. I have a I have a little issue with this. Like sometimes ink just like falls out of this one a little bit. Like I don't know. There's something weird going on with my swipe, but it doesn't really happen with other pens. Just that one. And it's not super often, so it's I overlook it. But uh, I think here, if you were using a drier nib or if you were using a finer nib, it's actually really good on this copy paper in terms of bleed. Although you do still get a little bit of uh, spread. So not perfect for copy paper, but pretty darn good. Uh, next up, this is my Galen everyday uh, everyday book. This is uh, Tomoe River. And I have actually a couple of different uh, swatches in here. The first one is this one. This is it without the shimmer in it. This is the one from the Lightive. And you can see it's just like a very nice kind of uh, violety purple there. It works really well in this paper. It looks beautiful. It's got a little bit of a little bit of sheen. You can see in that scribbly bit. And then in the back. There we go. In the back, 
There's Barahe, which is showing off a whole bunch of sheen there. And then Barahe with Shimmer. And I'm going to grab my flashlight to get some off, off kilter lighting. Uh, you can see there's Shimmer uh, all through there and some sheen. So, yeah, it looks really nice. And this is the one uh, from the swipe with the Shimmer in it there. So, yeah, I think it's a beautiful color. But like I said, it might be a little biased. So, you know, uh, if you like it, I, and I hope you will, uh, it's a beautiful purple. And then lastly, in terms of papers, I went ahead and put it on this uh, this like new Tomoe River from Sanzen. And I used both of the types of, uh, of nib that I had going here. The top one is this one from Twisby, and it's quite a lot wider, although maybe not as wet, perhaps, as this one from Pilot. And I think both of them look really pretty. You can actually see quite a lot of that shimmer uh, coming through in some places here on this paper. I love that blue shimmer. I think it's pretty great. Really good stuff. Uh, a little bit of sheen, not a huge amount, but you can definitely see some maybe on like black and white there, get a little bit of sheen. It's not like a sheen monster or anything, but it is present sometimes as a fun surprise. So there you go. And of course on the back, uh, no, no bleed through or anything. Nothing's, it's not going to do that on this. It barely did that on the copy paper. So pretty, pretty good. All right. So here it is on my Colodex card right there. And you definitely see some of the sheen there and also the lighter areas down here where there just wasn't as much ink. On the back, I have actually, I've put this in a bunch of pens. This is one that was loaned to me, which is a big old Mont Blanc signature nib. It was gorgeous. And uh, he put Barahe in there, which was kind of an honor, actually, given the, the nib and pen and all that jazz. And then the, my vanishing point that I had it in forever. And then the Twisby swipe down below. Now, the vanishing point also has uh, shimmer in it, just not as much as I put in the other. So uh, I never had a problem with that one uh, drying out or uh, clogging or anything like that. So yeah, really, uh, really cool ink works real well. So here, let's put it next to a few others. Uh, here's Waterman Tender Purple, which is another one of my like all time top inks. This one is, uh, I don't know, less blue. It's a little bit warmer, I think, than Brahe is. Uh, but Waterman Tender Purple, really beautiful purple, just a slightly different shade. And then this one is from KWZ, and this one's called Meet Me in St. Louis. It is the St. Louis Pen Show Inc. for 2020, so several years ago. And again, it's uh, slightly, I think, um, uh, different shade than I've got going on there, but also like this one was limited edition. You can't get that one anywhere anymore. So those are the closest I had until today. And today I actually swatched a couple that are kind of close. So this is Octopus Fluids Medusa, which is a super sheener ink. It's out of their sheen line. Uh, and I think this one is like redder than mine. Mine comes off bluer than that one as the base color. And of course, the Octopus Fluids one has a ton more sheen on top. Uh, in fact, a lot of those places kind of like over here. Oh, yeah, it's a green ink. Totally for sure. But it's actually it's actually a purple. And then this one, which I think might be the closest. This is a very recent, uh, recently released ink. This is Waring Ghoul's Frankenstein, which is again, it's another shimmer ink and it has kind of a like a bluish and greenish shimmer to it. I think the colors are kind of closer. I think this I think this is grapier than mine. Mine goes more violet and this one goes more grape just uh, with the extra light on there. I think so. I think it's a little bit grapier. So, uh, yeah, but this is the closest I've seen to Barahe, especially with, you know, shimmer and all that jazz. So, yeah, probably these are kind of close, but that's all I have that's close to this in my collection. And I like that. I didn't want to make an ink that had been made before. Uh, and so, or at least not one that I had and could compare it to. So, yeah, this is Barahe. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, this will be hitting my store in the near future if you're watching this uh, when it comes out. And hopefully I'll have have it around for a bit but um i'm not a i'm not a stockist so i don't really want to have a whole bunch of back stock so this might be a little bit hard to find if you don't grab it uh when it comes out i'll be posting on social media and all that jazz when this is going to release and uh probably in the title of this video when it's close to that so thanks very much for watching thank you very much mate for making such a cool ink and thank you all the folks who watch the channel for supporting these little endeavors that let me uh you know make cool inks and provide them to, to the community and all that sort of thing for sale so uh until uh until the next Next time, I purple you, Brahe.